God, and you want... a, for a long time, for a long time, like you, I mean, you were in a relationship for a long time. And yeah. then, and then, uh, so, I mean, we talked about this before, like there, you had a little indiscretion and it kind of blew up. And then one of the things that I, that I learned from an entanglement, so to speak, Godfrey, just uh -huh. situation. What'd you say, Harry? I said an entanglement. What'd you say? An entanglement, yeah, in, perhaps? Yeah, a little entanglement. <laughs> and <laughs> How yeah, come when it's a woman, it's an entanglement, but when it's a man, it's an indiscretion? <laughs> piece of shit. Piece of shit. Yeah. An indiscretion. It's an indiscretion. Not an in entanglement. Yeah, a little entanglement. But this is this is a this is an interesting concept that happens a lot of times. And, and me and Godfrey had talked about this. It's like you because basically he was doing what he wanted to do like he wanted like four years single he wanted to be single but he was like fighting against the nature of him being single and then he did what he wanted and then he felt bad because he felt bad because he was hurt by it and then he put up with a lot of shit that i don't think he wouldn't have been he wouldn't have put up with if he wasn't if he didn't feel as it, I think Godfrey felt bad because he hurt her feelings. And so guys do this where they go, all right, all right, I'll take, you know, you, you're giving me shit. I'll take it because I fucked up and I hurt you. Right. But it's a weird thing because, and I, and I've, I had to learn this myself is that you just because you take it right. Like if you took it and then afterwards they felt better. Like if they say, okay, Okay, I got it out of my system. Now I can move on. But they never get it out of their system. It, so you take it. You feel horrible. She still feels horrible, right? And then it never ends. So what's, what's the point? Now everybody feels horrible. Whereas if you don't take it and you go, look, I fucked up and I apologize. And I, but look, either we're going to move on or we're not going to move on. And she makes a decision. To, to, if she makes an honest decision to move on, then you have to move on. She has to move on, and you can't tolerate her bringing that up and throwing it in your face because right. it never ends. Because she's in this kind of emotional loop, where it's even when she gets the upper hand, when you, even when you allow her to get the upper hand, she's still hurt. So it's it's never satisfying, you know, because it's more like she feels inadequate, you know. Yep. Especially like when when a guy when a girl cheats on a guy, we think, oh, that's thinking ass bitch. When a guy cheats on a girl, a woman will go, What why was I not good enough? Yeah. And so it's crazy? it's go ahead, go ahead, guys, say what you gonna say. No, that's crazy. That's, that's weird that it's like that. That's a, yeah, but we I mean we're, we're that's we we're, we're built different and so so the real pain is their own personal pain and not living up to their to the expectations of what they thought they were and they can't kick that. So the the next thing is to 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 put your nuts in a ringer every chance they get, oh, yeah. because they they're hoping that they getting that pound of flesh feels better, but it never feels better. It never ends. There's never a situation. God, how long did you go through that? That kind of just all right, all right. I know. Two, I, two, three, I, two, three years. It was uh. Wow, really? I didn't even know it was that long. I mean, I was with him ten years, and it was uh, about you know it just festered for a long time, and then, you know, just to be out of that shit is so like, oh man, thank God. And then we end up we're friends, we're like best of friends, which is great, you know. And that some circumstances forced us to kind of act like adults and be friends, you know what I mean? Which is good though, because we are, yeah, like, yeah, it's all good. It's like that chapter's closed, but we're friends, and that's great. I have her back, yeah. she has my back. And that's a right. good thing, you know, because right. usually it was, and it was about to end. It was about to be fucked up, but it yeah. ended up being all right. Like, oh, okay, yeah. shit. It was some other things that happened that may, were more important than our dumb shit. Way more important. And so we were de we dealt with that. And we were like, oh, you know what? All this arguing, it's not worth it. We need to deal with this shit, you know? Right. So we right, ended right, up, right. So yeah, but I like, I like peace of mind, man. God damn. Shit, it's great. Shit. But the problem is, though, when you meet new B people, <clears throat> they attach to you quick. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They attach to you. You're like, oh, shit. How do I Why tell them? What do you think that is? What'd you say? What'd you say? 
Why do you think that is? Oh, uh, because you know how it is, Dante. We're not we're not we we we're not just physical people. We're not just like they people see us, but we have it's up here. We got when they start spitting knowledge, they go, damn, you're smart. When you when you when they find out, you know, you're a museum guy, you like museums, you read books all the time, you do this, and you 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 know, you you actually have really good like conversations, you know, you yeah, literally yeah. fortify them as far as knowledge, you inspire them to read or you're into health, you inspire like you all this stuff, you know, all the other things that come with the whole physical shit. Right. Like right. You, you when you open your mouth, people go, Oh nigga, I didn't know you were a fencer. I didn't know you knew this. So that and you know women are are, are very sapiosexual, you know, very sapiosexual. They like like they like intelligence. They like if, if they fall in love with this like the most. Yeah, yeah. This up yeah. here. You know, and then when you bring that to them, they're like, oh, the, shit. The, 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 well, the looks is the worm on the hook, but it's the thing that stays is that, that makes them stay is everything else. Right, you know, because it's, eventually, it's that's, eventually that's with anybody because we yeah. can get the, you can get the finest girl in the world, but after a while, she ain't saying nothing. You, you, you start to look at her like, oh. Nah. You're Shut like, up. yeah. Well, you right. That's the concept yeah. of all goods. Yeah, yeah. It's a, that's your, you get like a nice yeah. car. It looks beautiful, but if it doesn't perform, it's trash. You know what that's, I mean? That's that's that's. Here's a word, but James Baldwin. It's called matricious. Matricious mm. is the word wow. having looking good and uh, on the outside and having no intrinsic value. You man, school two o two. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man.